Hey guys, now we're going to talk about isotopes. So the word iso means same. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're talking about the same element, but different forms are kind of like different flavors of ice cream. Okay. If that makes sense. It's all ice cream, but it's different flavors. Right. Sure, I'll go with so it. So let's look at an example. All right, if we got this example right here. We've got three different isotopes of carbon. Right. That means that there are three different masses. Right. Okay, so I'm going to kind of show that here. Uh, so it's the same element. Which you can tell because you have the same number of protons. So carbon will always have six protons no matter what. If you have seven protons, you have nitrogen. You don't have carbon anymore. So they all have six protons. You notice what's different. Well, uh, I noticed that what it shows me here is the number of neutrons that's different. Right. Remember, neutrons have a mass of one, so they'll increase the mass number by one or decrease depending on whether you add or subtract neutrons. Um, and actually, they forgot to put this here on this picture. This would be called carbon-12, by the way. So there are three uh, isotopes of carbon that exist in the world. There's carbon-12, carbon with a mass of 12, carbon-13, and carbon-14. Yeah. And they exist in a certain percentage. They're not all, it's not all 33% of each, right. but there are some uh, isotopes that are more abundant than others. So um, anything else special about isotopes that so, we really need to understand? They have the same protons, okay. different neutrons, different mass. We're not really worried about electrons here. Okay. So only protons and neutrons. Um, You'll notice if you look on the periodic table that the average atomic mass of carbon is 12.011. And we're gonna, we'll, we'll show you how to do those calculations to find average atomic mass. But what that tells you is that the carbon-12 atom is found much more frequently than the 13 or the 14. Okay, so this guy is the one that we see most often in the real world. Right. And then these guys over here a little bit less and less. Okay. Right, so when you average it out, you're closer to 12. So that one's abundant, more abundant. Okay, so an isotope is a pretty easy thing to understand, I would say, and uh, it just kind of helps you realize that uh, just because you have an atom of carbon doesn't necessarily mean that you know exactly what its mass is before you look at its parts. Right. Okay. Um, that's it, I guess. Yeah, that's it. Easy.